up guys, the phenomenal AJ Styles, and you're watching Red Out Live. What is going on guys? Brit Alive back with another video and today we have a WWE ringside collectibles wrestling figures.com unboxing slash review video. But yeah, I decided I'm just gonna you know what? I'm just gonna put the unboxing video in the first review video. Why freaking not? But today we're gonna be looking at two figures from this set. Not sure exactly who they're gonna be yet, but they're in the title, so there you go. But uh yeah, here's the unboxing. So without further ado, let's freaking jump into it before we even get started. Brand new reviewing knife. Look at that, and I am using the brand new lighting not sure you know what you know what for the brittle live fans let's get a look boom i'm using the brand new lighting i'm using the brand new knife and we have a ringside collectibles unboxing it cannot get any better so without further ado let's crack it open for you guys right now i am freaking excited i would imagine this is elite 83 so let's take a freaking look taking off the insanely protective paper that ringside always includes with the figures and we are gonna jump into the figures first up we got the rated r superstar edge oh my god <laughs> the rated r freaking superstar edge returning oh my god that's so sick we oh oh king corbin king Corbin. Oh my god, I'm excited for that. Putting him aside, we got Drew McIntyre. Drew freaking McIntyre. Oh my gosh. We also got Sasha Banks. Freaking cool with the brand new blue hair look. Very awesome. And then last but certainly not least, we have Dusty Rhodes. Okay, guys, in this video, I decided we were going to take a look at Edge and King Corbin because these are the two that I'm most excited for out of the set. These both look insane, especially that Edge, but that King Corbin I'm also so excited for. King Corbin, or Baron Corbin, he is so, he, he needed a new Elite figure. Like, seriously, the last Elite we got of him was like literally 20 Elite series ago. So glad we're getting a brand new King Corbin. So without further ado, we are going to start with King Corbin. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get right into it. Uh, as you guys know, he's like one of my favorite heels. Hate him or love him. I freaking love King Corbin. I love him as a heel. Glad that he's the brand new king. Here is a look at him. Brand new part of Elite 83. There's a look at the package. You guys can get a look. You got the engraving of King Corbin. I like how the, like, the crown is sort of like spikes right there. True effects, head scan technology, certified authentic Elite Collection. King Corbin. There's a look of him on the side. Elite Collection right there. There's another picture of the king right there. Bow freaking down. There's some info on the back. If you guys like to pause the video to read. Other people on the set, you got Edge, Drew McIntyre, Dusty Rhodes, King Corbin, and Sasha Banks. And you guys are probably like, wait, there's only five in the set. I think the sixth was supposed to be Velveteen Dream, but it's some sort of like random issue or whatever. But it sucks that we're not going to get that Velveteen Dream because it was probably planned for like an insane attire. But still, glad that we're getting some pretty cool figures out of this line. So without further ado, let's get King Corbin right out of the box. He comes with the open interchangeable hands, as well as these open gridded hands. If you guys are like, oh, did we get those in the past? Those look brand new. We've actually gotten these in the Ultimate Edition Finn Balor. We're also getting the King's Scepter. Pretty cool scepter. It's unlike any other King Scepter we've gotten in the past. It's fully black. Look at that. There's the top. Some pretty nice spiky details there. And then there's the handle. Fits in King Corbin's hand like really well. King's crown right here. Very nice. Another just unique King's crown. Fully black. You got the gold studs going around. Looks great. Fits on King Corbin amazingly as well. I'll make sure to put all the accessories on this King Corbin figure at the end. So stay tuned for that. And then, of course, we do have the massive entrance row. Brand new mold. Brand new mold here. Very nice. People uh, are probably going to be like, oh, why couldn't that have been cloth? I'm honestly glad it's rubber because I think they captured more detail. And you guys are like, wait, how does it connect? It's very interesting. I did not know this, but this is a separate piece. It's a separate piece. So what you do, you put it on the King Corbin figure, and then you get this just like this. Hopefully it'll focus. You put that in there. It's hard to do it behind the camera, but I'm going to try my best. You get that in there, and then you put it in the other side just like that. And you guys get the point. It's just a separate piece, two little holes. But other than that, take a look at these feathers on the side. Sort of like a light tannish with the brown going all the way around. Just looks like royalty. And then look at this black cape going all the way down. It just looks like an evil king. That is so cool. Oh, my gosh. And then, of course, we do have the king. Here is King Corbin's head scan. Had to grab the freaking King Corbin figure that I've been stuck for. It feels like for years. We got the constable. The freaking constable. I think they're using the same head scan. Same head scan, just with different paint apps right there. Very awesome. I love this, man. Fully bald. 
Like nothing, like no other elite Corbin we've seen in the past. He's got the beard, amazing looking facial expression, just super bland, very nice. He's also got the nice looking black t-shirt. The left arm is covered in a massive tattoo arm sleeve. Like nice looking like compass right there or something like that. Another little like clock right there. Some pretty cool details if you guys look closely. Very nice. And there's a look at the other arm if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, he does have another tattoo on the inside of his arms right there. It says PA, maybe for Pennsylvania, not sure. He also does have black... Uh, wrist tape on right there, and I currently do have the open interchangeable hands on. And he does have some pretty nice decals on the sa side. On the left side, it says end of days in red with a nice gold lettering around, wow, gold detail around it. And then the other side, it says King Corbin with like a, it looks like a sword. If you put that together, yeah, it's a sword with a nice silver and gold decal around the side. And then moving down, of course, he does have the black, iconic black boots. <laughs> And of course, here we have King Corbin with all of his accessories on, looking absolutely beautiful. I love the look of the robe. The crown fits great, and I love how you could barely stick his hand out right there and then fit the scepter in his hand. I love that, man. That's so cool. Okay, guys, now we are going to move into the Rated R Superstar Edge. Coming off of an insane King Corbin figure. I'm going to rate both figures at the end of the video. Brand new addition to the reviews of Bird Alive. We're going to rate the figures at the end out of 10, so stay tuned. But the King Corbin is freaking awesome. But yeah, now we're going to jump into Edge, also part of Elite 83. Here's a look at the package. The true effects, nice picture of Edge right there. I love how it's coming with a claw shirt. We're going to get it out, take a look at it. Certified Elite Collection, Mattel Edge. There's a picture of him on the side right there. I think this attire is from WrestleMania, maybe? Yes! WrestleMania 36 right there, it says on the back, when he went up against Randy Orton, they were fighting on top of that semi-truck. That was absolutely epic, by the way. The variant of this figure is from Backlash, so I need that figure, because I was a big fan of that match. But yeah, very cool info on the back there. Uh, other people in the set, you got Edge, Drew McIntyre, Dusty Rhodes, King Corbin, and Sasha Banks. Starting off first, we do have the open chokeslam hands, as well as the two sweet hands, or you could call these like the Edge rated R hands. Pretty cool. And of course, we are getting the cloth t-shirt, which is pretty interesting. Interesting. Uh, I honestly would have preferred to get a big robe like it, like what came with King Corbin, but of course we are going to be getting the Ultimate Edition, which comes with a massive robe and an interchangeable arm, so not too disappointed about that. Glad that we are getting a cloth shirt, though. It says Edge with the Rated R logo. He's also got the hands right here. Same hands that it comes with interchangeable, which is pretty awesome. And of course, every, like every cloth shirt, it Velcros in the back. You could see the gray and the beard right there. I love the smile. I think the smile is very cool. I'm glad that they didn't just go with like a just bland head skin for Edge. Because Edge, you know, he likes to smile. So there you go. You got the smile on Edge with the grayer beard. Love that, man. Hair is looking amazing, too. You got the brown hair partially in the front. Most of it in the back. Love the color of that as well. Just looks great. Like, that head skin just looks great. And I think that's the same head skin that they're using with the Ultimate Edition. I cannot wait for that Ultimate Edition, by the way. Here's a look at the right arm right there. You got the classic Edge little star there. Some skulls there. And then what? what's pretty cool, I love the color of those elbow pads. Sort of like a maroon red. Same thing with the wrist tape. But if you look closely on the wrist tape, you can see some black details right there with the star, which is pretty cool. If you look inside the arm, too, you also got another tat right there, which is pretty sweet. Here's a look at the left arm. You got another... Uh, I don't know what you call that. It's sort of like a black hole. It looks pretty crazy. Edge always has these decals on his figures, which is awesome. And another one right there. Pretty sweet. And then another one inside the arm. Looks like a cross, which is pretty sweet. I like the torso right here. Honestly, I think they could have went a little bigger because Edge has it worked out and got a little more fit. Not going to lie. Um... But yeah, still like the torso. It's not bad at all. Here, moving down to the legs. Looking beautiful. You got the Rated R Superstar logo right there. This color is just so unique and just so accurate to his attire that he wore at WrestleMania. He's got sort of like a grayish right there, which is so cool. There's a look at the side. Same logo that is on the shirt. So that's pretty cool. I, I, don't worry, guys. I will put that shirt on at the end of this review. Um, yeah, there it is. How sick is that? There's so much going on right there, man. Oh, my gosh. Same logo on the other side. I actually watched an interview with Edge, and he says he he makes all of his logos, and it, he said it was pretty cool to see it come out on the action figure. So that was pretty cool to hear that he actually looks at his action figures. That's awesome. He also got the Rated R logo over there with the maroon knee pads, and then there is a look at the kick pads with the Rated R hands right there. He throws them up during his entrance, and he also do have some nice fire design right there. Otherwise, you just got the gray kick pads and maroon slash black shoes. And of course, like I said, I was going to do, there's the shirt on edge. Fits them great. Not too tight, not too loose. It is the perfect size. Look at that. 
not too tight. Normally, like not normally, but back then, oh, I used to get the cloth shirts. They are gonna be just tight as crap, man. So I'm glad that this one's sort of baggy, but not too loose. I love it. Just looks great. Okay, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Comment down below, which one's better, King Corbin or Edge? We're starting this review series with a bang. We got one more video going out. I'm going to do the rest of the three in one video. Dusty Rhodes, Drew McIntyre, Sasha Banks. So stay tuned for that one. It's going to be dropping very, very soon. But yes, this has been King Corbin and Edge. Pick them up from Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, using discount code Live at checkout to save 10%. Feel free to use it for yourself if you guys want to save 10% off your entire shopping cart. And I'll see you guys next time. Pretty live. Uh, out.